everybody. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Fellow Cigar Reviews. I'm Trident. I'm joined here by Moose. And uh, today we're going to be reviewing the Casa Magna Domus Magnus Limitada. Yeah, I, uh, I've i actually had one of these. And a um, buddy of ours, uh, Chris, gave it to me. And uh, I was pretty impressed. So I'm, I'm really kind of looking forward to doing this again. Um, just to be able to share the experience with you guys, but uh, I, I definitely love love this cigar. I'm just going to tell you up front, I found that it was very nice to, to smoke. So uh, construction on it, uh, it's it's a little rustic. Um, however, I think rustic in kind of a cool way, and just kind of how they you know put this thing together. The uh, wrapper is uh, ever so uh, it's pretty toothy. It's it's uh, it's definitely going to be um, a, a different uh, feel in my mouth for sure. The cap on it's really cool the way they kind of do the twist and then uh, lop it off. It's got that kind of nipple on the the uh, cap there. But uh, all in all, a good looking stick. Yeah, I agree. I uh, you know the wrapper. Maybe it's got you know some veins in it, but uh, again, a pretty solid wrapper, a nice tight wrap. Um, doesn't feel spongy at all. This has probably been in my humidor now for about a month or so. Um, the initial pre-light smell is um, very delicious and smooth. A little uh, leathery and earthy uh, on the pre-light. So let's uh, light these guys up. I'm gonna take this band off the bottom. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, one thing I do want to point out is. Um, you know, if some of you guys have been watching our video reviews, you notice that um, the Trident likes to toast his foot before he clips his tip, or his uh, cap. And uh, I'm going to be honest, um, I, I tried it the other day, just to kind of see how it would turn out. And uh, I think you may have converted me. Um, oh. You know, which is, you know, I mean, who knows? Maybe it's mental, maybe it's not, but whatever. I, I found that it was a pretty, pretty interesting uh, way of doing things, so I'm actually going to uh, follow suit with that. Like I told you, resistance is futile, and you're not the first one who's told me I converted them to doing it that way. So, <laughs> you're right. if you guys are skeptics, give it a shot and uh, let me know what you think. Send up a comment or a post and uh, let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, I'm going to time our uh, review today with our uh, trusty watch company, Vermont, here. I have my uh, Alt 1C on, and um, check out their brand. Nice watch brand coming out of England, so give them a shout. And we'll actually put a link to their site at the end of this video if you guys want to check that out. Um, I am using my uh, Zycar um, tabletop lighter to light this. Just the initial smell that comes off this cigar is very delicious. Um, like I said, a little earthy and chocolatey, but it's, I'm sorry, uh, earthy and leathery. Um, but the smoke is almost uh, creamy, heavy smoke. It smells very delicious. Yeah, it's it's definitely got a really cool iridescent, well, kind of an iridescent grayish blue to it. It's really interesting. I am going to use my Zycar cutter to uh, lop this off. Very nice, smooth draw through it. Um, it's got a little bit of resistance to the draw, but um, it's not a bad draw. It's very uh, smooth and solid. Let's light them up. Right off the bat, in that retro hill, I definitely almost got like a graham cracker um, kind of, uh, of um, note. Um, through my retro hail, that was uh, quite interesting. Um, I don't recall that from the last one. Um, however, um, I, I believe that the one that I had that you would probably give it to Chris, um, he actually passed on to me. So you know, now with a little bit more age, it's very possible that they've uh, they've changed just a tad. But uh, wow. the initial taste that I get is again just that very nice um, earthy leather uh, from the cigar. It's very uh, just smooth right on the tongue. Uh, doesn't necessarily coat your mouth as much yet, but uh, again, that's just the initial draw, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, let's go ahead and get about another third or uh, a third into this, and we'll come back with some thoughts on this uh, Casa Magna. Sounds good. See you soon. 
Hey there everybody, welcome back. So uh, here we are, we're actually a little bit more than a third of the way through this Casa Magna. And um, man, I'm going to tell you what, <clears throat> this one actually I did have an issue with. Um, I don't know why I had the issue, but it started to tunnel a little bit. Um, it since corrected itself, um, but uh, could have been a stick, who knows. I mean, it could have just been humidity, I mean, I have no idea. But, um, you know, all in all, <clears throat> you know, we were having a discussion off camera, and uh, I brought up the whole graham cracker thing again. And uh, Trident wasn't as convinced, but, uh, you know, that really is kind of what I'm getting. And, you know, it's almost like a... Um, like an earthy mix of, you know, a little bit of earth, a little bit of cocoa, like semi-sweet cocoa. But then it's got something else that's kind of kicking in. And I want to say it's it's almost floral, but I think the three notes together just kind of remind me of like that, kind of like a regular graham cracker. Not a cinnamon graham cracker, but just like a plain graham cracker. But um, all in all, I mean, I cannot complain one bit about the stick. I think this is another excellent stick. And... Um, you know, I'm, man, I wish we could get a hold of a bunch more for sure. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I'm not necessarily sold on the graham cracker taste just yet, but I do agree with the florals and the earth. Um, not really getting too much cocoa out of it, like you said, but, um, you know, there's definitely a little bit of sweetness to the leathery uh, taste that it's getting. Um, the earth in the leather is pretty strong with just the hint of floral on the back retrohale. Um, it's very delicious. I had to touch it up just a couple times, but otherwise it's burning great. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see this through the camera and everything, it's kind of bright in here, but um, it actually puts out a ton of smoke. Um, mine has been smoking like crazy. Um, sort of reminds me of like a Liga. If you guys write up a, uh, light up a Liga or uh, one of those um, same branded cigars, they uh, smoke a lot. And this sort of reminds me of that. Maybe not as much, but it's non-stop smoking the entire time. It, it's great. Yeah, for sure. And you know, another thing that I really want to point out is... Um, you know, we may have differ differencing in our opinions, or differences in our opinions, but, um, you know, one thing to keep in mind is what you ate for breakfast, what you've eaten for lunch, what you had to drink today, all those factors can definitely affect your palate to what you're actually tasting. Now, we are drinking water with this. Um, shout out to our boy, you know who you are. But, um, you know, besides that, you know, I mean... I was doing a little bit of partying last night. I mean, you know, I mean, I was drinking my IPA last night, and you know, and I mean, who knows? You know, I mean, th there's a whole gambit of reasons that that we may be getting different flavors. It doesn't mean that one of us is right and one of us is wrong. All it simply means is that, from whatever I've had or however my palate is at the moment, that's what I'm getting. And uh, you know, that's one thing that we really pride ourselves in is that we're only telling you what we're getting. So, I mean, if, if you want to kind of get what I'm getting, uh, let's see, I had uh, IPA last night, um, I had a Starbucks coffee like I always do this morning, um, I had a little bit of Coke early in the afternoon, and I had Burger King, a couple of Whoppers for, uh, for lunch. So, uh, you know, I mean, if you want to, if you want to taste graham cracker, that's, that's one way to get started on it. Yeah, I, I'm a little different. I actually went to work this morning, went to work last night, so, um, it's been a kind of long day for me, but, um. I pretty much had water all day today with uh, a little bit of coffee for breakfast this morning. That's really about it. So, all right. um, so, but yeah, we're gonna get a little bit further into this guy. Um, see you guys in a little bit. Uh, it's gonna be short because I'm really enjoying this guy. I'm actually smoking a little faster than I normally do, yeah, but there's um, no doubt about it. I'm just really enjoying this cigar, and I kind of don't want to put it down, but um, I probably should just to make sure it's not too hot on the. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, and that's another thing to, to uh, take into consideration for all of you out there. And, you know, and some of you guys know this stuff. And believe me, I'm not by any means trying to, uh, to teach uh, old dogs new habits or new tricks or new views. But for those of you that are just getting started, you know, many things can come into play when flavors from cigars um, take place. Um, smoking too fast, getting it too hot, can absolutely change the flavor profile of a cigar. It can actually add quite a lot of bitterness. Uh, it, can, it can really take away a lot of the florals, things like that, because it's just too hot. Um, I, I have been known, on occasion, to smoke through quite a few cigars pretty quickly. Um, it just happens. It, it's something that, you know, it takes a lot of discipline to just smoke a cigar one puff a minute, let it make sure it's nice and cool, you know, puff it very lightly, things like that. So, I mean, there's there's a whole lot of things that are going to take, you know, or 
to have effect over the way a cigar tastes. So with that in mind, we will. We'll be back in just a little bit with more of this Casa Magna. See you soon. Hey everybody, welcome back. So uh, here we are, we're uh, finishing up this uh, Casa Magna and um, yeah. I can't say enough the good things about the cigar. Yeah, exactly. I, right. You know, the flavor profile has been pretty consistent throughout the entire cigar with the leathery earthy that I've been talking about. Um, like I said, just a hint of sweet, um, you know, you described it as floral, which I would agree with, but you know, it's just got this hint of sweetness to it, uh, but the earth and the leather is there, and it's a great flavor profile of this entire cigar. Um, again, it hasn't changed much, but, uh, you know, it's just a great, uh, consistent cigar, um, very solid, um, great, you know, it's just delicious. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I couldn't agree more. I think it's, it's definitely a medium to full bodied cigar. There's uh, a lot of complex flavors in there, and I think the majority of them coming together is what's causing all of our, you know, kind of, I wouldn't say differences, but I would say the different flavors that we're each picking up individually. And, um, you know, we, we definitely try to keep it a little more simple. You know, I mean, you know, I, I see all these people out there that, you know, they, they want to talk about, you know, African macadamia nut. And I'm like, dude, I've never even had a macadamia nut from Africa. So, I mean, I don't even know what that tastes like. So, I, I certainly don't want to say that to anybody out there. But, uh, you know, I definitely say the earth base is for sure. The leathery, I can agree with the leathery. The leathery for me is that kind of, you know, that that warm feeling that you kind of get, you know, kind of coats your tongue and just kind of feels good. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I mean, I am picking up the cocoa still, the floral notes are there. It's kind of that sweet right before the after effect. It's, it's almost like it's not immediate, but as soon as it gets expelled through my nose, through my retrohale, I kind of get that floral note for a second. And the next thing you know, I'm right back to that kind of dry cocoa um, and those, those earth tones. So, um, yeah, this is absolutely a great stick. Um, if you can find these, um, I definitely would recommend at least trying one. Um, it's going to be a little difficult. Most places are sold out. Um, I know that Smoke Inn had them for a while. Um, they, they show that they're, they're completely out of stock, but, um, you know, definitely uh, a good stick. But it's a pretty uh, good production line. Casa Magnus and a lot of your B&Ms and, and stuff as well. Um, you know, I've smoked a lot of their line, and a lot of them are very delicious. Um, don't hesitate to give them a try. Um, you know, they make cigars ranging anywhere from 4 or $5 probably to $12, $13 or so. Um, so it's got everyone's budget in mind, but um, their cigars are wonderful. Uh, again, this one has just been a little something special, I think. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You could probably find it in a lot of B&Ms. A lot of the online places are probably out and things like that. But, you know, if you've got some access to some good B&Ms, you'll probably be able to find it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, don't forget, you can continue to check us out at www.cigarfellas.com. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash cigarfellas. Um, I definitely want to give a shout out to uh, stogiefriends.com. That is the forum that we're hanging out on. Uh, if you guys want to check out our posts and more of our reviews and, and see what the whole online cigar community is about, definitely check those guys out. The, the owner of that site is just a spectacular individual, uh, Matt. And... Um, uh, you know, one thing that we both hold dear to our hearts is uh, um, CigarForWarriors.net. Um, definitely check out CigarsForWarriors.net. It is a wonderful thing to be able to give to our troops. If you can give one cigar, if you can give a dollar, whatever it is, it all goes for the troops. You know, it's a nonprofit organization, and it's just it's just an incredible way to give back to the people that are overseas, keeping the, the peace and the freedoms alive for not only for us, but the countries that they're actually in. So uh, to all of our men and women in the armed forces, definitely please hurry home safe. And uh, until next time, I'm Moose. I'm Trident. And we'll catch you on Cigar Fellas. See you soon.